I know you're an engineer that's looking to work with high strength and ultra high strength materials when you're designing new products. You need a stamping company that knows not only how the stamping works, but how to build the tooling the right way. We have a wide range of press capabilities, anywhere from 32 tons up to 1,000 tons. And our feed lines are built for high strength, heavy gauge materials, such as this component here. We go from a very thin material down to 015 thick stainless, way up to 3 8 plus thickness and steel. Specializing in automotive production and heavy truck products. Overall, our expertise in handling the automotive community through a PPAP and APQP process uh, is something that a lot of our competitors are just not as familiar with as we are. The key thing for us is the fact that we build our tooling in-house, we service it in-house. I know a lot of people say that, um, but it's not necessarily true. We're tool builders. Tool builders are making your stamped parts. And when your dies are here, they get the love they deserve. We have taken parts that maybe it was done in several operations or multiple operations, and we've combined it into one operation. We took a part that is dual strip. Another strip comes 90 degrees to the main strip. It cuts it and assembles in the tool. By doing this, we saved uh, labor. Instead of having someone manually put these on, we were able to do it all in one tool, which saved a lot of cost. If you want to play with the big boys, you need the big toys. 144 inches by 84 deep. Again, up to a thousand ton capacity. Allows us to do large parts like you see right there. Not only does this thing handle big prog stampings, but even large stampings like this at stage tooling. Having the press size and tonnage is one thing, but you need to have the feed equipment as well. It's very easy to put a part into a press that may be half inch thick and stamp it out. Anybody can do that. The challenge is taking high strength, thick gauge coil, running it through a feed line progressively for high volume production. And that's something that is just uh, really separates us from the pack. Uh, this is about three millimeters thick. It is a rear box mount bracket that goes into a chassis superstructure for one of the OEMs. It's about 22.8 wide material, feeds a very long 14 and a half inches. So as you can see, we're running about 13 strokes a minute right now. It can run up to 26 strokes a minute, depending on the part geometry, how much length of travel you're gonna use on the stroke of the press. A part like this is very beefy tooling. We're not gonna have thin little die shoes making this component. And this is where tool design comes in it once again. You can't feed material like this and just be feeding a one out die because you're gonna have too much side thrust on the side of the tool. You wanna have a good counter thrust whenever you're stamping parts this thick to be able to exert that load over the entire bed of the press. It's one more area of expertise that we have to know how to make heavy gauge stampings work repeatable for mass production. And the good news is we can design and build the tooling in-house or a lot of times when tooling comes in, say from offshore, we work with our customers on what's called a home line buy-off. We essentially run a production scenario here, typically three to 600 pieces, verify that the tool is what it says it is and it makes the good parts as expected. We do this typically anywhere from one to two years before mass production. So we are cleaning things up well in advance. It's not done at the last minute. But the key thing for us is to have a full working tool room so we can maintain that tool, whether it's sharpening or engineering changes. Stamping tools are not small. It takes a lot of room to store them properly. We've invested in heavy duty die racks to be able to hold these size tools, give them a good home and make them easily accessible for our die carts. What else can we bring to the table for you? First off is you gotta have a, a strong APQP process, which is Advanced Product Quality Planning. That's a requirement of IATF 16949 certification. It's not for everybody. It takes a lot of resources, and when you're supplying direct to assembly lines or directly to tier ones that go to the assembly line, you cannot be late. We know the cost to you is extreme if that assembly line goes down. We guarantee we will not be the cause of your downtime. So it is a completely different animal, it takes a whole nother level of supplier, and especially in this area, that's what really separates us from the competition. Quality starts at the machines. We use check fixtures. There are flush gauges, go no go gauges, feeler gauges, and fit gauges. The check fixture mimics how the part will fit in assembly at the customer. We do level three PPAPs. 
So the time and energy that goes into, the resource that goes into a PPAP, whether it's 10,000 parts or 100,000 parts is the same. You're doing things such as performance testing on the, the strength of a weld nut, or you're verifying that the material meets the tensile yield and elongation needed. Because this, along with 19 other elements that compose a PPAP, it is what a good automotive stamper does. Anybody can talk quality, anybody can talk price. But what we realize is there's always a problem to be solved or a suggestion to be made. We position ourselves as problem solvers. We, whenever we go and see a new customer or an existing customer, first things I ask is what challenge can we solve? This component here is our thickest, heaviest component. It's made out of 3 8 thick steel, 0.375. This goes on to a heavy duty diesel engine. Uh, it's meant to lift the entire engine out of the truck with the help of a few other brackets we make. The strength on this component is so high that when this engine would ever be serviced and need to be lifted out of the truck, and let's just say, for example, someone forgets to undo a critical bolt, this bracket alone is meant to hold and lift the entire engine and truck multiplied by two. Sometimes when it comes to big, strong stampings, it's not just simple geometries and forms of 90 degree bends. Uh, sometimes it requires having more intricacy, more complicated geometries like we have here. This is a bracket for the heavy truck industry. A lot of sumps being put in, multiple forms. This is zinc nickel plated after it's stamped. On this side, this is a belt guard that goes into a motorcycle application. A uh, lot of uh, cam piercing and cutouts being done, as you can see here. Very intricate, difficult to carry through the tool. Here are two components that use, again, our full capabilities. This one in particular gets a M6 weld nut, uh, while this one over here gets a about 20 millimeter long weld screw. This component is actually a safety critical component, holds up fuel lines on a diesel engine, so the inspection frequency on this and the checks are very rigorous. And uh, the volume on these is typically about 90,000 to 120,000 parts a year. Customer came to us in need. Their current source couldn't meet their delivery requirements. In fact, they were already past due before uh, the customer even knew that they weren't going to ship and told them, well, we're not going to have product here for another four months. So this is a perfect example of a tier one supplier that had an issue, had a big challenge. They came to us, we got these P-papped in a matter of a couple of weeks, and it's really blossomed into a great relationship. Uh, we got our start in 1989. My father, Bill, started the business. He was a journeyman tool maker. It's the humble beginnings of starting out of a basement of a house. You know, along the way, we've seen how others were doing business. We've seen where we could improve upon things. And we got on board with our first tier one in about 2008, 2009, ironically, during the Re Great Recession. Probably the most important thing is the way we service the account. It's not only customer service, but it's really just attention to detail, being there, and responsiveness. And what we saw is when a customer of ours is working with, say, a tier one automotive supplier, then that has to go to the OEM level, and they're doing design changes, there's a very long communication line when that stuff happens. We're able to significantly compress that lead time by having us be able to prototype in-house if needed, build the dies in-house and run the mass production here on one of our presses. We're innovative, it's economical, and we're right here. We don't have to ship in from overseas. If you're happy with your current source, that's great, but you don't know what you don't know. I guarantee you when you come in here and you see our people, our processes, our equipment, our tooling, you just might switch. And we're happy to help you do that. Give us a call. 303-566-7000.